Annyeong everyone, this is the Hongqi EHS9. This is a 7-seater full electric vehicle. Yes, you can now have full electric vehicle in 7-seater to go to Baguio with your family and also look like a gangster. And fun fact is that Hongqi started in 1958. They only became available to normal people like us in 2017. Before that, only the diplomats were driving this. And now they are all sad because they don't have the exclusive rights. And just to start off, let me open the car. Ah, uh, did you see this going up like that? And then there's some light dance happening. From here, when you open it. Yeah, it's gonna dance like it has never danced before like wow look at all this light bar design the price of this model is 5,380,000 pesos remember that this is a full EV you have no coding plus you can have seven people inside you will not go to the gasoline station and you can look like a boss well you do have to come out from there because if you come out from here it might look different it is equally as intimidating thanks to this 21 inches in michelin tires carpet that will be shown here whenever you approach the car or open your doors so many of the people compare this to rolls royce stop comparing people because if you start comparing you will have a sad life just look at this front face it is as intimidating as a phantom or a Cullinan and it does have cameras everywhere and ADA system that will help you even park this massive seven-seater from Hongqi. Hongqi Philippines will be bringing in three variants of this EHS9 and this one right here is the mid-spec. This has a total range of 520 kilometers, about 500 horsepower and about 700 newton meters of torque in this massive seven-seater Hongqi EHS9. When car names, you know, involve numbers, it just makes me confused. But at least I got it right. Chenan, you have a Hongqi cover. This is only for maintenance and no access for you. Oh, that sounds so good. Here in the trunk area, there are like exhaust designs but of course this is a full EV no exhaust power tailgate it's a seven seater and you can control the third row with the buttons with the head will the headrest fold yeah and the headrests didn't fail us even without the third row folded you still have plenty of space here under here extra space and early warning device just if you don't have your early warning device and then you get flagged by the officer you will pay 5000 so you should buy one i think they are saving energy that's why the lights are a bit small oh and the third row has nice air vents inside and their own control and you can even control either you're gonna have it for your face or your feet i like this you see this you see red hologram showing on my glove inside it looks so futuristic and considering that this is not even their newest model it still looks very flashy very advanced all these stocks they look and feel expensive Everything is automated, adaptive cruise control, park assist, different drive modes. You even have kid mode, nap mode, and like six other modes just to make your cabin adjust to what you like with just one click. The steering wheel is powered. Everything is connected with the memory feature. Speakers are everywhere. Airbags are everywhere. And this area with the wood accent feels like a yacht. And there is wireless charge pad inside the center console. The screens, there are actually two screens that are long. And this area looks like the gallery that you would see in a Rolls Royce. Uh, it's there, but as of now, it's just uh, with the pattern that's illuminated. There's also a button here 
to release your glove box because gone are the days that you will use your finger to open your glove box. It has onboard dash cam. It has sensors all around the vehicle, voice command, auto dimming room mirror. Your air conditioned screen is also a screen you will need to adjust and learn in order for you to adjust the temperature and the fan, it is like uh, iPhone, the way you scroll iPhone. Unlike the Ertiga, uh, it doesn't show in the key fob that it is obviously an EV. You might want to bring your ORCR with you, but I think if a, an enforcer stops you in this vehicle, they just want to see the car. They get it so unique. Auto brake hold. Chinese vehicles, they are not holding back to bring in the full features in their cars. And the horn sound, yeah, the horn sound should be like this, like a tank. And the doors feel like a tank, but it has soft close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it wasn't a fart sound. In case you guys didn't know, the car is on. Yes, it's one of the benefits that you get when you have an EV. And uh, for this vehicle, since it is always compared with Rolls Royce, it looks like it should be driven by a driver and you should stay here but my honest feedback is you do feel more exclusive and more uh, special on the driver's side and the passenger side although what you get here on the second row is lots of space you can have lots of leg room you do have nice appearance in front of you air condition vents are everywhere there are also charge options it's like it's as if you bought a xiaomi charging adapter it has everything here including the wall charger heated seats for the front and the rear because maybe because this one isn't the most updated one that is maybe catered for the philippine market air condition control here on the second row air condition control also on the third row but that might be just the blower armrest with cup holder just press the button comes out that way and a similar mazda style of cubby right there now if you want to enter the third row you should enter using the right side that's for safety and there are more compartments here this is not for your ashtray okay this is not ashtray when you come here uh, you can actually enter the third row because this side will not do that right now i want to enter but the third row is uh, folded and you cannot unfold it manually you have to go there at the back and do it yourself and the brand of the sound system is Hongqi as well just press this and then it opens up like that AC, DC, and you can also press this one. But when you plug this, it will illuminate this area showing that your Hongqi is being charged. And don't do this, okay? That's too old style. Just press this button. And as easy as that. Finally, we are going to drive it. Okay, 500 horsepower and 700 newtons. Dual motor, guys. 520 kilometers of range, 5,380,000. Let's go. Left? Yeah. yeah. Well, after you can right. There's also something there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I need to adjust the seat because the hood is uh, very high. So I want more of a commanding view. Let's go. We're in comfort mode. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's the usual sound you hear in an EV. Like me, like a spaceship. Left or right? Right, right. Okay. Turn right. Careful. You can go around the area. Ah, this is the loop. Okay, just be careful now. Okay. We are not gonna do crazy acceleration now because safety first. And I didn't sign any waiver. <laughs> oh, the Alcantara or Suede. Uh, it's really holding me tight on my butt and it feels easy to drive because the steering is actually very light very very light and all this uh, quality of the, the theme the appearance it feels uh, very premium like what you would see in a Mercedes 
Turn right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. The brakes are good. You know, this is a huge vehicle. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Torquey, torquey. Okay. Oh. It's so easy to drive this because... Oh. Okay. Do you think people will come out here? Uh, frogs might come out. Okay, no. <laughs> Careful. Wow. <laughs> and, and people don't hear us. Uh, oh, yeah. We should be careful. Okay. I don't have so much time today to test the full features of this car, but wow. Okay, potholes. Okay. But to tell you honestly, even though I took a ride on the Rolls Royce, uh, people say magic carpet ride, right? But, uh, you know, it's not like you don't feel anything. You, it, you do feel something, but of course it's on a better side. And this one is not that bad also. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Wow! That's good. And we're just in comfort mode. Are we turning left or right? Left. Left. Okay. And we cannot go back that way, right? Yeah, that's one way. Okay. So for other testing, it will be sport mode. All road. Move, please. This is the presidential car. <laughs> you know, when you look at it from outside, it looks huge. And even from here, the hood, you can see basically everything, even the hood ornament. But when you are uh, driving it, it feels manageable. It's really, when you look to your right, it's like the cabin space is like humongous. It's all, I cannot even reach for that so far. Then we're in sport mode. Okay, we're gonna floor it. <laughs> if we if we only had the road more road, easy, and you don't the number you see on the uh, infotainment, it doesn't stop. It just it's like a counter, you know, like a time code counter. So there's no stopping, even a little. And that was like easy 70 plus. And I didn't see it going, slowing down even a bit. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Brother Christoph, uh, is there like a media drive, like uh, something? Uh, yeah, soon uh, we will make something. Oh my uh, goodness. <laughs> we'll wait for uh, the other cars to arrive. Yeah. We'll have more. Okay. Cars to test. Okay. For now. Wow. Still limited. Remember, this is 21 inches. 21 inches rim, and there's the backup camera. You can have the 3D type also. Uh, I wish I had more time to test this one, but we have a long line waiting behind me. So that will be all for now. But for sure, we will have a more in depth review on driving wise. And thank you everyone for watching this video. If you haven't watched my other Hongchi video, please do watch that as well. And I'll see you in the next video. May your dreams come true, everyone. Bye.